All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the gear train. Um, so got the old thrust washers here for the, uh, this is the uh, rear planet, this is the front planet, and we have counterparts uh, brand new for each of those. Uh, we have the uh, front ring gear and planet, rear ring gear, ring gear and planet, intermediate shaft, uh, sun gear and sun gear reaction shell, or you know, sun shell for short. We're also gonna replace the two bushings that go in the sun gear. So uh, the, the ones that are in there are now are pretty worn out. So I wanna get them uh, get them replaced with new. And then lastly, you have your little thrust bit, your thrust washer and then your snap ring that, that secures everything in place. So uh, we'll go over to the other bench when we knock out those uh, old bushings. All right, let's go ahead and take the uh, worn out sun gear bushings out of the sun gear. Uh, to make it a little easier, we're going to go ahead and separate the uh, sun gear from the sun gear shell. So you want to get in behind it. I use a, I use two to three of these uh, picks. The idea being, you want to get as much of this um, ring above the groove as possible. And don't be surprised if it takes, you know multiple tries to get at it and then just kind of separate it and let the, the gear kind of fall through. All right, you don't need to take this one out. And then I'll kind of pound down on the bushing. You just need to get one of these out because then you can press the other one out from the other side. So with a uh, bushing driver. Step away. As you can see, it's starting to come out. So now we're kind of at the point where we need to support it. Something that will hold, something that will hold the, uh, will hold the, uh, uh, you know, the circumference of the sun gear, but let the, let the bushing drop. And so we got one that could work. It's coming. It's coming. She said. This bushing just flaring a little bit so I can fit in there. There we go. All right, we got everything set up, so let's go ahead and start pressing them in. So to the best of your ability, um, you want to just uh, keep in mind. try to get this centered and even as much as possible. All right, once it's seated, give it maybe one or two more 
kind of half strokes in there. Then check it. Okay, we are right up against that lube hole. Same with that one and that one. So this is good, I'm not gonna press it in any further. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Once it pops like that, then it's seated. Uh, you know, it's fully in place. Again, one more stroke and then check it. So it's right below the surface of the bevel. Could probably stand to go down just a little bit more. this new bushings installed all right let's go ahead and put the rest of the gear train together um, got the uh, sun shell all assembled so first things first I uh, want to lube up the bushings Again, nice and generous with the lubrication. And then we're going to go ahead and lube up our, our thrust washers. These are to the rear planet. And that's going to be to the front planet. And this is for the sun shell. And I had already previously lubricated this one. Didn't realize I actually did that before I started filming. No matter, can't use too much lube on this stuff. All right, let's put this in place. And the little silencer ring kind of just goes right in there on that uh, on that location. And then there's these two thrust washers just go one on each side like so. Alright, so go ahead and uh, grab your output shaft. Seat your rear ring gear. And then your rear planetary carrier. And then put a little bit of lube. Sun shell. I'm going to 
put the planet inside of the ring gear and then put the ring gear into its location there on the sun gear and that's obviously much better. Then we got our snap ring. This snap ring is selective. In other words, there's this one and then there's a uh, one that's a little bit thicker. I think it's six or seven thousandths thicker. What I'm going to do now is actually going to measure gear train in play. So, this tab that I talked about earlier measures or determines rather um, shaft end play. But now we got to uh, determine what our uh, gear train end play is. Um, and it should be, I'm going to have to look up the bulk spec, but it should be somewhere between a neighborhood of, I want to say, 6 and 48 thousands. How you're going to measure this is uh, you're going to lift up on the shaft right here. You see that, that gap? That's your end play. So I can already tell it sits within spec. I'm just going to pick 25 thousands at random. That's kind of what it looks like. That. Nope, less than that. Try seventeen thousands. That's seventeen thousands. That's pretty much what it is. Um, so that's kind of right in the middle of where we want to be. All right. So uh, last thing you're really gonna do is put this little thrust washer in place. Your train is done.